Hello everyone, and welcome to another Skyrim tutorial video. For those who watched my previous video, you might notice that my mic quality has improved. It's very exciting. I still sound like a 12-year-old boy. I could not resolve that issue, but you'll get to hear me trip over my words in even higher quality, and I just don't really know what else you could ask for. All jokes aside, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to mark an NPC replacer as an ESPFE. It's a very, very simple process. It's going to be nice and short and sweet, but I do want to give you a couple notes before we get started. Just important things to know. Um, the first being that uh, it will work for either a standalone or a personal use replacer. It doesn't matter, so don't worry about that. The next thing is very important. Please, 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 before you do this process, please back up the ESP version of your mod. Just have a copy of it. The reason why is because once you mark it as an ESPFE, you don't want to make any changes to that version of it. You want all of your changes to be made to the ESP version. So in the future, if you decide to change like a hairstyle or you needed to fix something, whatever the case may be, you want to do that on the ESP version of the mod and then mark it as ESPFE again. You don't want to make changes to a light plugin if you can avoid it because it'll cause a lot of issues. So just keep a backup always. It's just good habit to back up literally everything when you're modding if you can. The next thing I want to let you know about is that if you have any patches for the NPC replacer that you're trying to mark as light, it will break the patches. So you'll have to make them again. The reason why is because when you change a mod to be ESPFE, it changes all of the record IDs. So your patch will be looking for records that no longer exist because they've been renamed. It can't identify the difference. So make sure that after you create the ESP version, or sorry, ESPFE version of the mod, that you redo all of your patches. Now let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you, like I said, back up that ESP and just have the ESP installed and ready to go and make sure that it's finished as well. And then the other thing is to have SSE edit installed. The tool that I'm going to be using actually requires SSE edit. It is specifically a script for SSE edit. So make sure that you have that ready to go. And the tool in question is called ESPFE follower ESLFI face gen and voices. Now, this is super easy to install. It is a manual install, but I'm going to walk you through it start to finish. And if you had any questions or concerns, um, there are a few things to know within the page. Like if your, your NPC overhaul is in a BSA, you would want to extract that. Things like that. So it, please read the description page of the mod of this tool. But I will show you kind of a, a visual representation of how I use it. So let's get it installed. All right, so click files, go to manual download, go to your downloads folder, and I'm gonna extract that. And when you pop it open, you'll see that it's literally just one file. And all you need to do is open another window and find your SSE edit install. Go to the edit scripts folder and just copy this and paste it. And that's it, very simple. Now, once you do that, and I'm gonna link this down below in the description so you guys can just go straight to this page and get what you need. But once you do that, you wanna open MO2 and make, like I said, make sure that your ESP is installed and ready to go. And for those who don't know, um, in MO2, if the plugin is not light, it'll look normal. If it is light, it'll be in like italic and it'll have an FE by it. So that's kind of how you know a good indication of whether it's light or not. And next time we see it, it'll be italic. So launch SSE edit. And you only need to select the mod that you're working with. In this case, I'm going to mark my Carlia replacer as a light plugin. So I'm going to launch only that. You'll know it's done once it says background loader finished, just like that. And now all you need to do, you don't even need to expand it really. You just right click the mod, go to apply script. And if it's not at the top here, just find it in this drop down. But it is the ESPFE follower. 
just like that. Once it's selected in here, you press OK. And looks like it was successful. And you can see that it's bold now because the mod has been edited. So that's all you need to do. I'm going to go ahead and exit. It's going to confirm that I want to save my changes. I'm going to press OK. And now you'll see that it is marked as a light. Now, I always recommend after you do this to test it and just make sure it works. So I'm going to walk you through that really quick. I'm sure you all know how to test your mods, but just in case you want to see, I will show you. If for some reason you need any clarification or have any questions, just put it in the comments below. Um, like I said, it's good to read the mod page if you can. It'll have more information on there for you. My mods, my replacers specifically, they're not very big. Um, I usually do one character at a time. Sometimes I'll do more. I'm actually working on some overhauls. So the process might be different in your case, and that's why it's good to read the page. But if you're just doing a simple one like this, then you should be able to follow this pretty closely. All right. So I'm just going to test Carlyon and we'll make sure that she's not broken. Okay. So to test an NPC, I showed you guys in the last video, but I'm going to type in help and space her name. Enter. And you'll want to find the NPC record. In this case, Carly is vanilla, so I'm going to go for the zero, the ones that start with zeros, because that's typically what vanilla starts with. And I'm going to do player dot place at me. Her number. And space one, because I only want one of her. I don't want to put a hundred Carlyas around me. Enter. And you'll see that she is working and she does not have the dark face bug. If for some reason you have that, um, like I said, read the description of the mod page or if you have questions, confusion, anything at all, just let me know in the video comments. Man, sorry, I struggled to get that out. But I really hope you guys found this useful, just like the last one. The last one got so much support and it really helped a lot of people, which is amazing. I'm so happy that I can help you guys. I'm happy to spread the knowledge in any way that I can. I am working on a fair amount of tutorial videos right now, but they tend to take a long time. Some of them will probably be close to two hours long. I mean, it, it can be pretty grueling, so I will get to them as soon as I can. But in the meantime, hopefully this worked for you. And if it didn't, let me know. Also, if you have any other tutorials that you'd want to see, I'm not a professional modder or anything. But I do know a bunch of random stuff. There are some things that I already, like I said, I'm already planning on making. But if there's anything specific that you want to know how to do, just comment in the video. And if I don't already have it on my list, I might do a tutorial video for it in the future. So once again, thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for your time. And I hope you guys have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye.